All right, let's go ahead and talk about it right now. Yankees are down in the series right now. They're 2 for 14, runners in scoring position. 17 men left on base in the World Series. It's just not good. They're down 2-0, and they just got there. Basically, they got outplayed every which way in L.A., by L.A. They went out there. They had a game yesterday in which they had an opportunity to win, and they lost that game. So now they come out today, and Rodon starts out all, all right. Starts out okay, um, but then he's, the homer ball start flying. Edmund hits a home run, but you don't mind it because it's a solo homer, and the Yankees respond right away with Soto homering to tie the game. Now, just when the Yankees need a shutdown inning to be able to do that, and, you know, that'll be great. Get the offense back out there. Yamamoto, they're kind of seeing him a little bit. They weren't hitting him, but they were getting on base. They were working counts. I feel like they were seeing him a little bit. They didn't. He didn't lock in as of yet. And guess what? They let him lock in. They had a bunch of opportunities to be able to do it. Judge right now is mind-blowingly bad right now. It's abysmal. His at-bats are horrible. The Unless the Yankees move him in the order, there is no way that the Yankees can beat the Dodgers. There's no way. Because he comes up and he kills too many rallies. He's not Aaron Judge, so they're not going to pitch him like he's Aaron Judge. They're not going to be out there, you know, like whatever. He's swinging at pitches out of the zone. Like sometimes these pitches are not even competitive, and he's swinging at them. That pitch that he struck out on was like, was like like two feet off the plate. Off the plate. He swung at that, struck out. Hit front hit, just shading this way like it's crazy. Um, It's disgraceful what the Yankees are doing and very disappointing the way that they have shown out in this World Series. The Penn did a good job today holding them down after they took out Roldan because Roldan was, was just awful, awful. After um, after Teoscar hit the home run, he hit a two run homer, and then right after him, Freeman hit the homer. Hey, what? Hey, the Dodgers the Dodgers bats went to sleep for the rest of the night. Credit to the Yankee bullpen, but the Yankees bats went to sleep for the rest of the night because they didn't need any more fucking runs. Why didn't they need any more runs? Because the Yankee offense just didn't even show up. Um. I. Yankees, you guys don't get your act together. This is going to be a very short series. You don't get your act together. This is going to be a very, very short series. It's going to be over in four. And this will be one of the most hyped up series that you didn't live up to the billing for. Because the Dodgers are keeping up their end of the of the bargain. As far as giving giving people a good series, you aren't. Let's hear what Matt, let's see what Aaron Boone has to say here. Yamamoto kept the offense completely quiet, retiring yeah. eleven straight to close it out there. What made him so effective? Um, I thought the first few innings we took a lot of good at bats against him, um, made him work. Agree. Some longer at bats. Um, and then kind of once he got a little bit of that lead, he kind of got into a rhythm and really, really did a good job of attacking a strike one. So it was hard to, hard to be patient with him when he was on the attack and getting ahead. I thought his stuff was good. Um, you know, was, I thought his fastball was good, um, slowing us down with the little curveball, um, and then the slider and the split, of course. So, um, Are you gonna I thought he was on his game. What did you see from Rodon? Obviously hurt by the, the long ball today. Yeah, well, hopefully um, it'll be like 96 Yankees. Um, you know, we're down 0-2 and we went to Atlanta. You know, kind of yeah. looking at, at, hopefully. at the homers yeah. there, you know, you took three at home about this guy and the team being really 16. good in leverage, you know, when they get when they get ahead in the count. 96, um, 96 you know, Yankees. Been, Let's hope. What was that? 2-0 maybe? The homer. Um, Yo, I'm safe. K. Oscar got him, I think, 1-0. Um, and then the 3-2 to Freddie. The Freddie, Freddie put a pretty good swing on that ball, you know, that was a little on the inner half, and, and I thought he elevated it pretty good. Uh, Teoscar maybe missed a spot by a hair, uh, but still, you know, had life on it at the top. They were just able to get to it in, in favorable counts. Other questions, uh, Barry? Aaron, 
Bernard, what was your vantage point on what happened with Otani at second base? I don't know. I just obviously saw him walking off holding his arm, but that's all. I don't know. Go up front to Alex. What are your big takeaways from this game in terms of things to build on or potentially improve on in game three? What are the big things you're thinking about? Yeah, you know, the game where we really got shut down there in the middle innings, you know, our compete to the very end was really good. We gave ourselves a chance to get right back in it and even win that game, you know, off a really good reliever. So I love the at-bats there in the end, the compete, the fight. I thought even Trevi got off a good swing off Vessia. So we just got to, you know, no one said it's going to be easy. It's a long series, and we need to make it a long series now. But, you know, we won't flinch. We just got to keep at it. Two rows behind, Chris. Judge has expanded the zone more often than he did in the regular season. Do you feel like he's pressing at the plate? It's just about getting into good position. You know, when you get into that good and everyone's different in how they do it, you get in that strong position to load where then the swing decisions follow that. So I think he's kind of working through that. Once that happens, it happens like that. So when you say get in a good position, is it a mechanical thing then that you're seeing? It always can be a little bit of a mechanical thing when, you know, when guys go through a little funk. When they're just easily getting into their move and – Getting everyone's different and how they get loaded and started and on time, and then you're swinging. All right, or well, whatever. He's making excuses for Judge. Listen, I, I got nothing for you, bro. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to make heads or tails and stuff. And to me, I thought the bullpen did a great job today. Yankee bullpen did a great job today. The Yankees just let Yamamoto settle in, and then he just, they just didn't hit. They didn't hit. They had opportunity again with, you know, um, uh, with with Glaber on first in the first inning, and they did nothing. They did absolutely nothing once again. So here we go. We're down 0-2. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the Yankees do. Let's see if the Yankees could be able to sit down and figure this shit out. Um, but the Yankees have to make some adjustments. You can't roll the same lineup the same way that it is. It's not working. It's not working. Your offense isn't clicking. And even for all for, for everything that you did in game one to try to win that game and you were in position to win that game, you still didn't hit in that game. It was just Giancarlo that had a two-run bomb. Do something with the lineup. Make adjustments. Don't be so hard-headed and just in blind in your loyalty that you're so afraid to make changes. Make changes to the lineup. Make your lineup hard to pitch to. Let's go. Enough is enough. You're down in the series 2-0. Game 3 is basically a winner go home game, guys. You lose game 3 and you're it's basically over cuz you're not beating this Dodger team freaking four games straight you're it's not happening it's not happening so listen make your job easy for yourself make this a series in game three make adjustments start to hit be open-minded about maybe starting dominguez what the hell is he on the roster for? Start Dominguez. Put him in left field. Yes, I get it. Whatever. Oh, the defense is that in the third. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, put him out there. I need the bat. I need the bat. I need the bat. The bottom of the lineup doesn't even have a doubles threat, much less a homer threat. Bottom of the lineup doesn't even have a freaking double threat. People, I, the Dodgers must feel like, okay, I don't think that these guys are going to put it out of the park here, so let's, uh, whatever. And the only people that have that threat to maybe hit the ball out of the park, 
Giancarlo, not Judge right now, that's out. Soto, that's it. Maybe Glaber. That's it. Nobody else has has any kind of resemblance of like, oh, they might put it out of the ball out of the ballpark or nothing. Play the kid, bro. That's it. Play the kid. I don't I don't I don't want to deal with this shit no more. Play the kid and that's it. We got to figure this out. Because what we're doing right now, you keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. It's not going to work. Oh, but in the regular season, it did. It's not the regular season anymore. It's the World Series. And it technically, this lineup hasn't really worked all postseason. Because they haven't gotten going. Judges batting 199 for the whole postseason. Moo, get him up off three, bro. If he shows that he's hitting again down in the lineup, then move him back. But until then, Pop, I need Giancarlo getting those A-Bs. Because Giancarlo's locked. And I need Giancarlo protecting Soto. So Soto can get more pitches to hit. What we're doing right now is not working. It's not. And you can't have that blind ego where you just don't want to change. Because that's my problem with the Yankees. They they don't want to change sometimes. They don't want to try. And it sounded like Boone was making fucking excuses for him again. You need to have somebody at the bottom of the lineup that has some sort of pop. The fact that the Yankees, for some weird reason, don't even have a right-handed bench bat they could bring out of the bench to hit is just horrible roster construction. It just is. Give Dominguez a chance. Please, I want to see that. I can't be the only one. I cannot be the only one that thinks that. Oh, 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 let's move this over here. Let's move you guys over here so I can take a look at the chat. There's no way that you're this thick skulled that you're not even willing to try a different lineup. Bro, you're you're about to go down old 3 You're about to go down old... Boone is too worried about being a player coach. That's that's a problem. That's the problem. That's a big problem. Judge spent his day today blocking fans on Twitter like Fuzzy. I didn't even check if he blocked me. He probably did. He probably did. Probably did. He worried about the wrong thing. He worried about the wrong thing, bro. Um, listen, it can't be Giancarlo every night. We're hoping for like a heroic homer. Other people have to do it. Other people have to do it in the lineup. Other people have to do it in the lineup. They just do. Oh, Giancarlo, uh, judge, they block me. <laughs> I mean, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I hope that helps you hit. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, he did. I don't know why he did. I didn't even say anything. I uh, like. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Daunting task. Don't. It's a daunting task now, boy. I mean... Rodan did not give the Yankees anything. Now the bullpen was used up again. 
Big time. Big time used up again. Sucks. Sucks. Yankees got fucking dominated, bro. Straight up. Yankees got absolutely dominated. Why? I don't know what the Yankees have against the Mingas. I don't know. I have no idea what they have against the Mingas. He is your top prospect, but the Yankees absolutely seem to hate him for some reason. I don't know why. They absolutely seem to hate him. Verdugo's giving you nothing but ground balls. Nothing but ground balls. Thank you, Steven. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. There's, there's, there's. Yankees went outside. And you know what? Yeah, they fought at the end, whatever. And this is two, two outings now that they kind of do well against Trinan. You know? Um, two outings that they do well against Trinan. But, yo, listen, why does it have to be that situation? Uh, that's like Judge Block Pinstripe Strong, too. I don't know. Dog. Pop, you're worrying about the wrong thing, man. You really are. It's not good. Going to the Yankees, I think it was the weather in L.A. and playing with Otani that forced him to go to L.A. But you, uh, you just look at what he did against the Yankees. Two hits allowed in seven innings. That was uh, in June, and then six and the third. Just what, what's ironic is, what's crazy ironic is that the two people that the Yankees were looking to get, Yamamoto dominated them in the World Series. Flaherty, for the most part, dominated them. Giancarlo Stanton hit the two-run homer, but he gave them length as well. The Yankees did not acquire Flaherty because they felt that he was they felt that his his back wasn't healthy. Um, he was healthy to last, you know, his five and a third with uh, with only giving up that those two runs on that um, on that home run. It's gonna be tough. The good news is that the Yankees are coming to Yankee Stadium. Um, also, I don't know what's going on with Otani. They're showing the replay right now where he slid and apparently something happened to his shoulder. Um, that his shoulder popped out. May have popped out of his socket. Yeah, like I don't know what's going on with Otani. He hasn't really necessarily killed us as of yet, but like, I mean, hopefully he's not hurt, but I don't know. They're going to do a bullpen game. The Dodgers are going to do a bullpen game because at this point they can disrespect the Yankees all they want if they really want to because the Yankees are not even like – the Yankees are not hitting. The Yankees are not hitting. So they're going to give the Yankees the Mets treatment, which is – they're going to give the Yankees a match treatment, which is, oh, we're going to throw a bullpen game out there. We can, we're we willing to throw this game or whatever it is. So the Yankees need to just win that shit. The Yankees just need to win. Find a way to win. Find a way to win game three. They were supposed to find a way to win today. But the fact that we have Clark and then it's going up against Bueller, I mean, that's kind of tough. We're at Yankee Stadium where some of these guys are pretty familiar too. And a lot of their lefties... A lot of the fly balls that they had over here at Dodger Stadium are homers at Yankee Stadium. Homers. Homers. A lot of them. Nonetheless, let's see what happens there. Um, the next pitching matchup is going to be Clark Schmidt against Bueller. I thought Clark pitched well in his outing um, when he last pitched. It's going to take some time. Let's see what happens. Um, 
what's really concerning me with the Yankees, once again, is that their lack of hitting. And their unwillingness to change. And maybe after being down 2-0, maybe they will. Maybe the Yankees will change. Maybe the Yankees will say, we need to make changes in the lineup. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take out this person. We're going to put in this person. We're going to move, you know, this person in the lineup. We're going to we're gonna do something because what's happening right now is not working, dude. The Dodgers are having an extremely easy time pitching to this lineup. The only time that the Dodgers, and if there's Dodgers fans in here, in the chat, they will admit to you. The only time that they feel nervous is one, two, three, four in the lineup. And I'm only including three in there because I'm only including three in there because there's always a threat of Judge, but he's lumped up in the middle there. If Judge was batting five then or batting fourth, then they would only be worried about one through three. It's Glaber, Soto, Giancarlo. That's basically all that they're worried about. Honestly worried about. Those are the only people that they're like, oh, shit, I'm scared. Or, oh, my God, this guy's coming up. These guys are on base, and this guy's coming up. Oh, man. Those are the only people. Because nobody else is doing shit. Jazz had a good hit today. That was good. And I keep thinking, like, who else? Like, She probably did. I don't know. I mean, I thought, I thought, I thought we were. I don't know. She probably did. Yankees scored a total of five runs in two games. They scored three runs yesterday. They scored two runs today. This is going to be a bad matchup for Rodon. So, um, girls, you can argue that the Mets have a better lineup due to the threat of Marte and Winker. Um, maybe, I mean, Vientos is really good. I can't talk about the match right now. I just, I don't care. Cashman should have never mentioned the Astros' weak energy. I mean, I don't know. Fernando Venezuela owning us even in death. I mean, RIP to the guy, man. Got to keep Oscar and Edmund in check. Yeah, I mean, but that's easier said than done. Like, those guys are good. You can't act tough against LA. Save this. Act tough about what? Hope he's tough. Did you see the 2 0 lead stat at the end of the game? Yes, I did. Don't care. Those stats to me don't mean anything. I think every team is individual. Honestly, just being honest. This is um, pretty bad, pretty embarrassing. Um, not happy with that. Jazz and Soto cannot act tough. Read it back. They acted tough. When did they act tough? Do you think that we have a chance to win two in a row in the Bronx? Oh, uh, yeah, we do. I mean, Bueller, and then they have a bullpen game. Sure. And then. Sure. They do. They got a hit, dog. They got a hit. They got a hit. When did you, you when did you want to see Strowman in this game? People keep asking about Strowman, man. I don't even know why, dog.
This is demoralizing to me. Very, very demoralizing. I don't. I can't talk about Strowman anymore. Why do we have Dominguez? And I just talked about Dominguez, and they should have him on there. Anyway, guys, I want to hop off. I want to thank you guys for being on here. I really do appreciate it. You guys are freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, good vibes throughout the chat throughout the time. Um, yeah. I'm there with you, man. I'm 31, and I be crying right now typing, man. It's bad. Appreciate you guys. We're going to... It's not over. I don't want you guys to think it's over. It's not over. Yankees, I have to make adjustments, though. Seven game series are about adjustments. You adjust, they adjust. They adjust, you adjust. If you don't adjust, they don't need to adjust. They're just going to keep doing what the hell they're doing, and they're going to keep bullying you and beating you like this. And then you'll be down 3 0. Yankees need to make some changes, whether they're making changes to the lineup, whether they're doing something. That, but you cannot do this. So, wait a minute. So, Rodon is talking about a blister that he had on his hand? <sighs> Bro, I've been asking for the Yankees all postseason to give us some early runs, like a lot of early runs, and they just haven't done it. You know, like this is four to two. It looks like a close game, but, but yo, it, it just feels like, it feels like, yo, this, this game was a blowout for a long time. That's what it felt like. I don't know. Tonight. Everybody that was used kept the game in check and there were no runs added on. The other thing I look at is if you look, you were one out away from winning the game last night and you were one, one hit away from tying the game up. If it's only a single, if it's a double, you might take the lead. So this is just hinged on a few at-bats. And I know there's at-bats all during the course of the game that guys can do more, but they've had a shot in each game. They just got to come up with the big hits when they go home and that will be the difference in winning the games. You know, Joe, you managed a red-hot Alex Rodriguez in 2009 who helped you win that championship. And in subsequent postseasons, he struggled so mightily. And we're seeing Aaron Judge struggle mightily. As a manager... I don't know what's going on, Judge. ...and have a heart-to-heart -heart with him? Or do you just trust the fact he's been there, he's done that, he's been a huge success, he'll work it out himself? Well, I think you continue to try to encourage him, and you don't panic as a manager because you know how he can turn it around so quickly. We saw what he did in April. It was not a good April for him, but in May he took off, and he took off the rest of the year. The one thing that I did see, though, is he plays with so much joy. Today was the first day that I actually kind of thought I saw a frown on his face, and he'll have a day off to sort that out. He'll get back to being himself. I'm not worried about that. I would, I would like to see that or flop him in the lineup. Anymore, but he's a kid to me. And I think you'll see a turnaround when he gets to the Yankee Stadium, and he'll feel more comfortable, and he'll get going. All right, we certainly hope that manifests itself in Game 3. Joe, thanks. We'll get back to you. Uh, Got to stop defending, dude. Uh, I mean, Trevino over Dominguez. I mean, listen, I'm going to be honest. Trevino got a good pitch to hit. He got a good swing on it. He just got under it just a little bit. It wasn't, 
I get it. I understand. I I understand. The Dominguez thing, I want Dominguez to play for Verdugo. Verdugo's not hitting right now uh, either. So, now he's defending well, but there's nobody in the bottom of that lineup that's a threat to even double. I'm not even talking about Homer, just double. So, Bobby had a horrible at-bat. Yeah, he's been having so many good at-bats all season, all postseason, and he had a horrible one there. Oof. Manifest your manifest, guys. Manifest your manifest. Let's go, Yankees. We're going to take this day off. We're going to hang out, whatever. Get your energy up. Get your vibes up. Tomorrow you'll wake up and you feel a little better. Get away from, like, even thinking about fucking baseball. And then Monday we come back. and um, I won't be here. I'll be at the game on Monday. Um, and then hopefully I'm at the game on Wednesday as well. Um, let's go. Let's go, Yankees, man. Like I always say, make sure you guys keep your pinstripes on. Say pinstripes strong. Let's go, Yankees. See you guys.